In my last video, I showed how to make a very cheap and functional urine separating composting toilet using a bucket, a funnel, and a toilet seat. Uh, I wanted to give a quick follow up of how that one worked. As far as the actual function of the toilet, it worked um, quite well. The urine and poop got separated as planned and everything went in the right place and everything. Uh, the, the problem I had with it was the lack of ventilation. Uh, at the time, I was living in a small apartment in Seattle, and the bathroom had no window or, or a vent or, you know, ventilation fan or anything. So it wasn't even possible for me to try in anyway, so I didn't even bother. Um, so, But I, I wanted to use the toilet in a school bus. So I was converting to a tiny house on wheels, so I used it in my apartment for about two weeks as kind of a proof of concept, see how it might work in a bus. And it worked really well for about a week or so. And then I was out of town for a week, and when I came back, it was pretty stinky. Uh, so I kind of gave up on that attempt. Uh, but I did learn a valuable lesson about how important ventilation is in this type of toilet. And so I decided to just start over and try again. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how I made a more high-tech version that has worked incredibly well. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. There is always waste to get rid of when your engine uses the food you eat for fuel. Good toilet practices means getting rid of the waste at the right times in the right way.